Okay, uh, let me explain the characters of this book. Nicholas Nickleby is the main character of this book. You'll hear about him the most. Um, Ralph Nickleby, who is the uncle of Nicholas. Uh, Smike is a disabled child who is mistreated and abused. Kate Nickleby is a sister of Nicholas. Um, Squeers is a mean teacher with one eye. Fanny is an unattractive, ill-tempered girl looking for a husband. Um, Lord Frederick is a friend of Hawk who owes her. All right, so in this book, Nicholas Nickleby, who's 18, is the main character, and suddenly his father passes away. <laughs> After that, they go to try and live with his uncle, who is extremely stingy and dislikes Nicholas very much because he reminds him of the uncle's brother, which is Nicholas's late father. Now they go to the uncle because their father left them no money. So the uncle seems pretty nice, right? Like he seems cool. He gives them all jobs. Nicholas gets this job at this school for boys as like an assistive administrator, you know? And then he gives Catherine, which is Nicholas's sister, a job working for this lady. And then I think the mom just stays home. And so that seems all nice, right? Um, it's not. Catherine, his sister, is sent to work with this woman who has a very extremely perverted husband who is very rude and is just uh, all up over Catherine. And it's disgusting. Meanwhile, Nicholas is working at the school for boys where the headmaster squeers is extremely abusive. The boys are starved and beaten. And basically, it's a home for boys who aren't considered normal by society. So this starts off very, very bad, obviously. Um, as we progress throughout the book, uh, Kate starts dealing with um, her uncle's friends who are trying to essentially buy her. Yeah, which goes on for quite some time but she's very very strong she ends up getting some sympathy from her uncle because she ends up like crying and begging him to not do this he ends up feeling sad for a bit and it kind of freaks him out because he doesn't really feel emotion um and then going back to nicholas he goes ahead and he basically beats up the dude squares because uh he was about to beat up this boy named smite who is 18 and he's super raggedy. He doesn't look like an adult at all. He's not wearing clothes that fit him. It's a whole mess. And so while that whole dramatic thing is happening, it turns out that Squeer's daughter, Fanny, has a huge crush on Nicholas. So that's a whole thing where there's a whole bunch of drama. Uh, Nicholas flirts with um, this other girl who's Fanny's friend in front of the girl's boyfriend and that's a whole thing. But anyway, back to Nicholas fighting Squeers. He, after that, he runs away with Smite and tries to find like a better life. You know, he goes back to where his uncle is, but not before Fanny sends an extremely exaggerated letter to their uncle, Richard. And it's extremely exaggerated about how he was just super, super aggressive and angry and a whole bunch of made up things to try to make him sound like worse than it actually was. Um, so then after that, Richard gets like really, really upset and um, Nicholas sees the conditions that his mom and sister are living in. So he, try, he tries to take them away from Richard. It doesn't end up working out, but um, Richard and Smite do end up getting a job at a theater where they both become actors. So that is where I'm going to leave off with my summary and I'm now going to hand it over to Bella. So Nicholas goes back to London and he arrives at the Nog's residence where he overhears these two men, um, Hawk and Beresot. And they're talking disrespectfully of Nicholas's sister. So they ended up getting in a fight and Nicholas hits Hawk in the face with a whip. creates a gash in his face. After that, Nicholas goes to an accounting office where he sees this mysterious, beautiful girl and he doesn't forget about her, but he doesn't approach her. 
anything like that. While he's there, he meets this old man, Charles C. And he ended up telling Charles about his life and his family situation. So Charles gave him a job and offered them to come stay with him and to work for him. So while they're there, um, Charles ends up meeting the brothers of the family who then help him try and find who the mysterious beautiful girl was. They find out who it is. Her name is Madeline Bray. Um, Ralph sets Matt, set, already set up a marriage between Madeline Bray and this old rich man to pay off debts to Madeline's father. Without knowing that, um, Nicholas goes to Madeline's house and asks if he could work for her and, and her sick father. And she took the offer and was super excited and super grateful. And now I'm passing it on to Jonathan. Okay, um, Madeline hears about the marriage and begs to postpone the wedding for one week. And they say their father will die if they do postpone this wedding. Now, Nicholas does not want this marriage to happen due to Kate's poverty. Um, because of that, Nicholas told an important person about Ralph's plot and ended up in a fight between Ralph and Nicholas. Um, later on in the story, Smike and Nicholas meet up and talk and he admitted to loving Kate. Later on, he died in Nicholas's arms. So Ralph finds out that he actually had a son who was Smike and he died in the arms of Nicholas. Um, Ralph then imagines the happy life he could have had with Smike, but now it's all gone. Anyways, um, Madeline and Nicholas end up getting married and buying a house together and having kids and living happily ever after.